What's up everyone, Tim from Everyday Tactical Vids, and as you can see we're looking at a knife from Coast today. This is their DX340, and I picked this blade up at Home Depot. If you see my Home Depot Urban Survival Kit, this was the knife that I put in there. I've been very impressed with this knife. It only cost me $7, so very inexpensive. Coast makes good products pretty much across the board. Um, some people are more familiar with their lights as opposed to their knives, but they do make a variety of different uh, tactical and emergency type items. Coast seems to be one of those products that I've found both at Lowe's and at Home Depot. Um, they do run a full range as far as their cost, but this one was very much on the low end, only $7, and a very cool utility EDC type of knife for not a lot of money. So let me just show you what it looks like up close here. There's your blade, handle, lanyard hole at the end, and then coming back the other way, blade, DX340, that's your model number, pocket clip, this is your safety, I'll show you that in a minute, and then inside you've got your liner lock. Alright, let's talk through some of the specs. The blade steel is 7CR17 stainless steel, blade length 3.35 inches, your end to end length is 8 inches, and it weighs 3.5 ounces. The handle is aluminum, and if you're familiar with uh, CRKT's M16 line, it looks kind of similar to that, so kind of a familiar style there. And the other main thing that we should talk about is the locking mechanism. So um, as I try to push the liner to the side now, you can see it does move out of the way, and I can fold the blade away. When this is activated, I can't push the liner to the side. So what basically happens here is, let me just get my finger under this a little bit here. You can see there's a little piece of kind of silver metal in there and when you slide this down it moves that out of the way or into the way. So now it is out of the way and I should be able to push this over and slide it down. When I want to lock it I'm going to basically slide this up and you can see it basically brings that piece in the way of the liner. So now I can't move the liner over. So that's a little safety mechanism for the, uh, the knife when it's deployed and you want to have it uh, locked in nice and firm. Liner locks usually, um, you know, if you have a nicely made knife, they're usually not an issue. Cheaper knives, they will be an issue, uh, but this is an additional feature. And this one actually works pretty well. Again, for a $7 knife, I'm quite impressed with it. Uh, sometimes you get these extra safety features that just don't work well. They're just kind of junky. Two things to be aware of if you do purchase this knife that are kind of a little bit of downsides, not huge issues, but I just want you to be aware. The pocket clip, you can actually hear it. It's a little bit looser than I would like it to be when the knife is actually in my pocket. I found that it was shifting back and forth a bit. So that is something to be aware of. The other thing is that um, the safety, you can put it on and off quite easily when you're holding the knife like this. But, you know, I've been holding the knife like this and trying to look at the actual safety mechanism. And it does, it's a little bit of work if you don't have your thumb in that position, like so, holding the knife to turn it on and off. So just be aware of that. Um, it does take a little bit of, sometimes you got to like get your fingernail underneath it if you're using it from a different angle. Um, but once you get a little bit more familiar with it, it does seem to, uh, to work quite well. So neither of those are major issues. I just wanted to let you know in case you do purchase this knife and find out that those things are a little bit of a, an annoyance for you. Not major problems, but I wanted you to have the heads now, up. Since this is more of a utility knife, I'm going to do some more utility type tasks with it. We'll start by... A little bit, a little piece of webbing here, and I'll just cut through this, so you can see what that actually looks like. So quickly through that. Oh, not that last little bit it didn't get, but that was operator error right there. So you can see, makes quick work of this lighter webbing. Move this out of the way, show you a little work on some wood, what that would actually look like there. So here's your, here's your end result, and here's some of the scrap, so you can see it did do the job. And then the last thing we'll do here is I just have a little bit of plastic tubing because this is the type of thing you would you know have this knife in your pocket and take it out to cut some plastic tubing or something if you were on a job site so quickly through that again 
it slipped from my hand. There we go. You can see it definitely gets the job done and I'll actually just slice through this like this. Get it in the camera angle so you can see it a little bit. Another common utility task is cutting cardboard, so let me show you some slicing. So obviously that's quite efficient in slicing, and then just general cutting of cardboard. Obviously it performs those tasks quite well also. So as we wrap up here, who is this knife for? This is a very basic EDC or utility knife. Uh, if you're going to be doing extremely hard use with your knife or you're in military, law enforcement, EM, you know, an EMT, something like that, uh, this is probably not the knife you want to bet your life or somebody else's life upon. However, if you're you know, working on a construction site, you're doing carpentry or just need a a uh, knife that's not super expensive that you can carry around as an EDC blade and that you can use pretty aggressively without being super concerned about you know it breaking and then all of a sudden you're out 50, 60, 70 dollars. That's why I really like this knife. So when I spend seven bucks on a knife, I feel pretty comfortable being quite aggressive with it because if it does break, first Coast has a great customer uh, service record, and second is that you know if it does break and I can't get it fixed for some reason, I'm only out seven bucks. Again, this is the coast and as you can see in the back dx340 simple inexpensive utility edc knife as always thanks for checking out our videos please subscribe to everyday tactical vids like us on facebook follow us on twitter check us out on tumblr take care